Hello and welcome to Three Cross the Wood Carving Tutorials. Today I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to try to do a tutorial real quick about painting this guy. He's just a little wizard that I uh, carved up and we're going to paint him today. Now I just, most of the time before I paint I usually dip these in boil linseed oil or something like that and let it set about 10 minutes and then wipe it off and then and let it set about another hour and then I go to painting and I use acrylic paints uh, thin down a lot now on this particular one I didn't dip him in boil linseed oil but that's gonna be alright so we're just gonna start painting him and I'm gonna start painting his beard and I'm actually gonna use uh, some cracker or apple barrel colors satin cream for some reason or another it shows up whiter here we go. So, just gonna pour oh, a couple of drops in there, and I usually use about probably four or five drops of water per drops of paint. So I'm gonna put some water in here and just see how thin it's gonna be. And you probably want to be able to read newsprint through it. Uh, just gonna stir it up, mix it up real good. You also, if you want to, can use extender medium. I do a lot of times, but I'm not going to on this one. Okay, let's see how he looks here. Alright, just going to start putting it on the beard, and the hair, and the mustache. And sometimes I might get it too thin, I may end up having to come back and put uh, two coats on it. That's okay too. We can do that get where I can see right here. It actually is a little bit thinner than I like it for this, especially on the hair. Now if I had sealed this a little bit with the uh, boiled linseed oil, it wouldn't soak in quite as much. This is soaking in quite a bit and I'll probably have to come back and put a second coat on it, which I'll do off camera if I do. I'm going to try to keep this one pretty short, unlike my other ones. <clears throat> Just have to be careful and make sure I get a good coverage on everything. Now this, of course, since it's soaking in, will dry up real quick. But if I'm getting ready to paint something else and it's not dry enough for me, I go get my wife's hair dryer and I'll just hit it with that a little bit and that'll dry it up very quickly and work very well. Now you can see, maybe you can see, that this is not, I really thinned it down a little more than I wanted, so I'll definitely have to put a second coat on it. And here we go. At this point, of course, you don't have to be too careful. You don't want to get it all over the face because a little bit later on, I'm going to put some flesh color on it. So i got to be a little bit careful there. But down in here, not so much. Of course on the end grain you'll see right here that this is soaking up a lot of it very quickly. I'll run out here in a minute and have to mix some more but that's okay too. One thing about acrylics, uh, they're easy to work with and pretty forgiving too for that matter. Be a little bit careful up here, I don't want to get this lip necessarily painted white because we're going to put flesh color on it with a little bit of red in it later on, probably. People sometimes are afraid of painting, but painting is really not that difficult. Like anything else, there's a little bit of a learning curve to it, but once you uh, learn the basics, pretty easy. like I'm about out of paint already. Okay. okay I'm going to turn this camera off for just a minute and mix up some more paint. And I'll probably go ahead and paint this beard before I come back. Okay, I'm back. And uh, as you can see, uh, I've got my first coat. Well, actually, I put two coats on here. And let that dry now. 
later on we'll come back and, and put some white on these eyebrows but I'm, I'm not going to do that just yet we're going to go ahead and put some flesh color on this face next clean my brush up now I use cheap paints I don't really care which brand I, I've got some Americana I've got some Delta I've got some Apple Barrel uh, basically what I usually do is we have a uh, well we had a Michael that's gone now but we've got a Hobby Lobby and when they have them on sale and I'm running low, I go get some. I don't spend a lot on my paints. But I do spend more money on my brushes. You do need some quality type brushes, uh, especially when I get down to painting the details in the eyes. But here again, I wait till Hobby Lobby has them on sale and, and I can get them pretty reasonable that way. All right, now I'm going to... I've got some, actually it's a Delta Cream Coat Santa Flesh, and I'm going to use it to do his flesh that you're going to see here. Put a couple drops, maybe about that much. And I'm going to put me some, about four or five drops of water in there. And stir it up really good. And this makes a real soupy mixture that makes it easier to uh, get down in the cracks and the crevices which you're going to have on this face. Okay. Now, turn it, he's going to be upside down because this is all still wet and I don't really want to mess it up. Start on his nose. Can I see I thin this down probably too much too. That's okay. Thin it down too much. I can actually just come back. Put a now. Well, Oops, wrong one. Put a drop or two back in it. About like so. Stir it up really well again. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, that's a little better. Go ahead and start out here on this nose. I know it's hard for y'all to see this, but I had a hard time getting my camera positioned where I'd really want it to be. And I believe you can see it well enough to what we're doing here. Kind of careful right there. I'll, I'll hit the big areas with this bigger brush and then when I get down to get into the fine areas, usually I'll pick up a smaller brush, but sometimes if you get it thin enough and if you're careful, you can do it with a bigger brush and not have to switch, which is kind of what I like to do. Okay, here we go. We'll paint it down in here. Run that back down in there. Right. Have to be careful a little bit when I get around to my eyes because I really don't want to. It wouldn't hurt. You could actually paint over the eyes with flesh color if you wanted to. Because you're going to come back with some white in a little bit. But I usually try not to.